boiling river, Christmas fights, and potatoes. I have been to 75 countries in my life, but there is one country that I would say is the craziest of them all, and not enough people talk about it. This is the story of that country. Welcome to... This is Life Before COVID-19, a travel series where I show you the world before COVID-19 for you to enjoy from your couch. Peru is different because the people here are crazy passionate. They're passionate about their dances, their culture, and their country. But above all, they're passionate about potatoes. Peru is the home of potatoes. They have 4,000 types of potatoes with so many colors, so many shapes, and so many tastes. And they are proud of it. People are so crazy about food that their language is named after it. In Peru, calling someone an avocado means they are embarrassing. Calling them lentils Apurate, no seas lenteja. means they are slow. Carrot means they are innocent and pineapple means unlucky. It's not just people that you will love in Peru, it's also nature. You go to the Amazon jungle, deep down into the forest, only to see this river. The world's only boiling river. It's so naturally hot, you can fry an actual egg on top of it and make tea just from its water. This boiling river you can only find in Peru. And these beautiful remains you can only find in Peru. Machu Picchu, the most famous breathtaking destination in the entire country. And last but not least, in Peru, I saw the craziest inventors. Like this kid, Jose, who at the age of 12 started a real bank with its own debit card, customers, employees, and legal paperwork. It's the first bank in the world started by a kid. And so crazy, a Peruvian scientist was able to clean his lake and turn it from this to this by inventing his own organic solution that cleans water. It's as crazy as it looks. I've only been to Peru once for two weeks and it blew my mind from its people, to its nature, to its traditions. Before COVID-19, it was amazing. And after COVID-19, it will be even more amazing. Yes! See you next week.